Hello dear students, welcome to Top Scholars. As we know that there are 118 elements, right? But how do we represent these elements? Yes, that is by using symbols. So that is what we are going to discuss in today's lecture. That is chemical symbols and its significance. Chemical symbols, what are chemical symbols? Now friends, symbols are generally used to represent something in short forms, right? Similarly, chemical symbols are used to represent the names of the elements in short form. But what is the significance of using a symbol? Yes, chemical symbols are used to represent a specific element. For example, here we have a reaction, right? Now in this reaction, Na represents the element sodium, whereas Cl represents the element chlorine. And NaCl represents the compound sodium chloride. So friends, chemical symbol helps us to represent a specific element. Now these chemical symbols also help us to represent one atom of the element. That is Al, that is the symbol Al represents one atom of aluminium. Whereas the symbol S represents one atom of sulphur. And the symbol H represents one atom of hydrogen. Now these chemical symbols also help to represent the atomic weight. For example, C12, here 12 stands for unified atomic mass, which also represents 12 grams of carbon, which is known as the gram atomic mass. Now similarly, O16, here 16 represents the unified atomic mass, which can also be represented as 16 grams of oxygen, which is called as the gram atomic mass. So friends, chemical symbols help us to represent the specific element, one atom of the element and the atomic weight. But friends, how did this discovery of using symbols for representing elements actually start from? Yes, John Dalton used a circle to represent an oxygen atom, a circle with a dot to represent hydrogen atom, as well as he used many geometric designs to represent different elements as well as compounds like ammonia and water. But friends, these geometric designs were quite difficult to remember, right? That is to represent these 118 elements with these geometric designs was quite very difficult, right? So there came a scientist named Berzelius. Berzelius was the one who suggested that in order to represent an element, one can use the initial letter of the element and this initial letter of the element should be written in capitals. For example, oxygen, right? Now, if you look at oxygen, which is the first letter, yes, O. So, in order to represent oxygen, what you need to do is you need to simply write the first letter in capital. So, the symbol of oxygen becomes O. What about sulfur, which is the first letter present over here? Yes, S. So, sulfur can be represented by S, exactly. What about hydrogen, friends? Which is the first letter? Yes, it is H. So, hydrogen can be represented by the symbol H, exactly. Now, this method that was suggested by Berzelius formed the basis of IUPAC, which is known as the International Union of Pure and Applied Chemistry, which is actually a system of chemical symbols and formulae. To learn more about this topic, Download Top Scholars app.